Fernandez on the right-hand side, decides to play the ball back towards the halfway line just to keep possession. McLean switches play quickly towards the left-hand side. Lovely floated pass to Yanoulis in the penalty area on the left-hand side. Back to McLean once more, who's coming forward. Shoots from the edge of the box and it's dipping, but not enough, over the top. But this is nice football from Norwich. Gibson has found Sainz, who sets off from the halfway line with purpose. He's 25 yards from goal, lays uh, Yanoulis in on the left-hand side. His cross, Barnes with the shot! Oh, he didn't quite get a hold of it, it looped up in the air, and the keeper pushes it round the post for a corner. Sainz determined to win it back in the channel on the left-hand side. And he's got his reward, he gives it to Yanoulis. Now McLean sweeps the ball in from deep, it's not dealt with, it's followed to Sargent on the edge of the box, couldn't quite take it under control, so he's played it back to Stacey. Now on to Onel Hernandez on the right wing, Norwich on the attack. Hernandez dives towards the byline, right-hand side crosses, chance for Barnes! Oh, it goes down over the line! The referee's looking at his watch, and he's going to give the goal! Barnes headed it goalwards, the goalkeeper, Ben Hamer did his best to claw it back, but they have goal line technology in the championship, and as soon as I saw the referee looking at his watch, I knew he must have got the message. Barnes has scored, and it's Norwich City 1, Watford 0. The ball's been played up towards Josh Sargent again for Norwich. Lovely forward play. Lays it off to Yanoulis, who crosses first time and crosses early. Barnes trying to get on the end of it, couldn't quite. And it's been put behind by a defender. And Norwich have another corner. But that shows what a goal can do and what uh, a lead can do. Norwich playing with a bit more confidence now. Sarah's corner, left-hand side played in. Another good delivery, it's headed down, it's in the penalty area, and then it's teed up by Gibson for Sorensen, who just couldn't quite swing it. Goal was McLean's gone down, that could be a penalty! It is a penalty for Norwich City! Watford were trying to scramble the corner away, McLean was getting to it on the edge of the penalty area, he was caught. It's such a clear penalty that you know, I can't even see any of the Watford players arguing with the referee, and that is always a sign that was as clear as they come, wasn't it? And a chance for Josh Sargent who scored in his last four home league appearances for Norwich City and he's got a chance to make it five out of five here with a penalty with the right foot to put Norwich 2-0 up, keeper saves it, the rebound though with the header is in from Sargent! He gets his goal, second bite of the cherry. Nothing's happening for Ben Hamer in the Watford goal tonight, the first goal he got to but couldn't keep it out from crossing the line, that time he saved the penalty but he's only been able to parry it straight out for Sargent who wasn't going to miss it the second time. Norwich have scored two in the space of eight minutes and it's Norwich two, Watford nil. And it goes out to Lewis on the left hand side, Shaq Fazadze gives it back to Jamal Lewis, now uh, it's uh, Kone out to the left wing and Chak Vodadze level with the Norwich penalty area. He's got Stacey back pedalling and Anders doubling up on him. Ball comes back to Kone, who slides it low in the penalty area to Sebek from the angle. He plays it across, chance for Ryovic, and that's it. Watford have got themselves a goal back just before half time. Really good ball in from the left hand side. The Norwich defence couldn't deal with it and Ryovic just bundled it in from close range. And uh, this game's back in the melting pot. Norwich City 2, Watford 1. Here's Borja Sainz for Norwich City, on to McLean, who touches it back into the path of Sainz. Forward to Hernandez, right wing, holds it in play, skillfully here. Onel Hernandez accelerates forward, gets tackled, but Sainz is there alongside him on the right wing. Hernandez has gone down, actually, but play continues. Sainz gets the cross in, oh, goalkeeper punches it away. Edge of the penalty area, it's fallen for Jack Stacey, who can't get the shot away. Sarah on the edge of the penalty area, he gets the shot away, and it just flicks the side netting on its way past the post. Sarah's another one to a goal, really. No goals in any of his last 16 league appearances, Gabriel Sarra. Surely it's only a matter of time, that one really wasn't far away. Gunn plays the ball out to Barnes, and Barnes gives it away, deep inside his own half, and here comes Kone for Watford, lays it off to Martins, Martins biding his time, shot blocked. That is a superb block by Ben Gibson, but Norwich City, their own worst enemies here, they were 2-0 up, and they are very, very fortunate that it's now not 2-2. Watford really are the team doing all the pressing at the moment. Here's Yasser Aspria, the 
Colombian substitute who came on just a few moments ago, trying to make an impact on the game, and he shoots from distance! That is a brilliant goal! Yes, at Aspria for Watford, and even some of the Norwich fans are applauding that. He fired that one into the top corner from distance. Uh, it is a cracking strike from Aspria, but what it means is that for the second time this season, Watford have come from two goals down against Norwich City, and at Carra Road, there's an air of dejection and disbelief because it is Norwich City 2, Watford 2. Here's McClay, Norwich not fully in control of it. Inoulis passes it short to Nunez, who's quickly being closed down, does well to hold off Edo Kayambe and then hit the ball up to Barnes, who holds it up nicely but can't quite steer the ball to Inoulis. Oh, now it has gone, second attempt, chance here for Sara in the penalty area for Norwich City. Yes! Gabriel Sara picks up the pass from Ashley Barnes. He rolls into the penalty area and he finishes from the angle and the Canaries are back in front with 13 minutes to go. Norwich 3, Watford 2. Two, the score at Carroll Road. Ball goes back to Ben Hamer, the Watford goalkeeper. And Hoydon goes to closing down, the Dutch striker. Comes to Jamal Lewis on the left-hand side. Good tackle from Stacey on Dennis. And Norwich have got it high up the field with Christian Fasnack into the penalty area. Van Hoydon turns, feeds Stacey on the right-hand side. Plenty forward here. Cross comes in, and it's deflected in! Norwich have got a fourth goal! The ball played in by Stacey. Fasnack was there at the near post. It deflected in beyond Hamer, and Norwich City have restored their two-goal lead. They've scored twice in the space of five minutes, and it is Norwich City four, Watford two. Here's Stacey. So they can't, they can't all be bad then. <laughs> in the centre circle. <laughs> Gets the ball forward. Liam Gibbs is closing down the Watford defence. Wesley Hook should clear it away and does, but not very well. Nunez has got it up towards Van Hoydonk, edge of the penalty area, but he's back to goal. Lays it off to Christian Fasnack. Gibbs on the edge of the box. Oh, he's been taken down there, Fasnack, surely. Yeah, Edo Kambe with the foul. Free kick, Norwich City. Free kick to Norwich. Nunez is going to take it low and it uh, bounces wide. 